Hello everyone, this is Luna Softpaw, and welcome back to Crowd Kitchens. Um, yeah, so last time we had a couple situations. Um, there was that one were beast that we have contained. We didn't, we only got one infected dwarf, and she's all locked up. There's no need to worry about that. Um, and I wanted to make some stuff for, yeah, just a couple things. Uh, yeah, we needed those for the captain of the guard. And then we had another situation that we also have contained. Yeah. I guess these guys are here to build the, uh, our drawbridge trap. We might get to use that today. That'd be fun. That'd be a lot of fun. Um... But yeah, we have this situation up top with these humans invading. It's a human... It's a pretty small force of humans. Uh, I guess this is all they got. Um, but they came here to try to raid our fort on behalf of the goblins. And this guy is just strolling right on up. And I guess we caught a few of them already. Oh god, are those traps not working now? Oh. That was weird. Why did those traps not go off? I guess... I guess the humans start to catch on. But yeah, we already caught some- we already caught a bunch of them. Where are you guys going? Chickening out? Oh, oh, there's a guy visiting. Um, cause it still says siege. If they were retreating, it wouldn't say siege anymore. But maybe they're going to kill that guy that's visiting. Sorry, can't really do much about that. Yeah, if they were actually retreating, then it would say that the siege is done, so I don't think they're actually retreating. But it's funny that we caught some of them. <laughs> Bye! Are they actually leaving? No. No, they're coming back. They, they retreated a bit because they got scared of the traps, and now they're coming back. Well, maybe we can get these guys in the tra- in the- in the drawbridge hallway. That'd be fun. If those bridges get finished. Oh, there's a bunch of guys. Yeah, they're just kinda... They're just looking for a way in, I guess. I don't really have a way in for them. Not yet. Yeah, we'll just, uh... Wait and see if they either get these traps themselves. Uh, I guess they got past those traps. I guess humans are- I guess I- Because I know that when human diplomats visit, they can- If they see their tra your traps, then they will report them back to the homeland, and then if you get invaded by humans, they'll uh, know about the traps and they'll avoid them. But I guess humans will just naturally figure out if a hallway's trapped. Oh, oh, god. That's really annoying. This stupid badger boar. Oh, I'm gonna have more cages in the pile. <laughs> oh. Someone's possessed. He's gonna make something with the mason's workshop, and there he goes. Oh, he's already- he's already making something. What's he got in that workshop? Hematite and applewood logs. That's gonna be not super valuable, but you know what? It's- it's, it's it's still an artifact. <laughs> this human's just messing around. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Um. But yeah, if we can get all these drawbridges finished, we could like invite these guys in. <laughs> um. 
I'm gonna put some doors here. And then um, the the reason I put like a like a rope there was just to put like an animal there for to attract uh, you know curious invaders to come into my trap hallway. And I gotta set up a I gotta set up a lever too. I'll put it like here. Er. Yeah, because there's always people around here. There'll always be somebody around to, p to push the lever. And then we'll assign all those straw bridges to that lever. Where did those bodies come from? Okay, uh. Thakit Vosifuth Miner has created Arala Vol Vodlin, a hematite hatch cover. She claims it is an heirloom in the name of the family ancestor Cursidor Love Outlined. Okay, let's check that one out then. This is a hematite hatch cover. All craft, all craft door ship is of the highest quality. It's encircled with bands of oval, oval hematite cabochons. On the item is an image of dwarves and humans in applewood. The dwarves are fighting with the humans. The artwork relates to the attack on the learned humility approximated dais by the helm of whips in the late winter of 269 during... I'm not saying that word. The sting, the stingy defiance. Okay, so I guess our, some guys in our civilization attacked something else. Okay, they attacked a human settlement, I guess. Back in 269, and this is a hatch cover detailing the historic event. Um. But yeah. I don't know who this guy is. I know this dude's like a criminal. He's been here before. Are you looking for stuff to steal? I'm on to you. <sighs> okay. Um, trying to think of what I wanted to do today other than fend off these invaders. Oh no, oh yeah. Oh, crap. Okay, she's a werelorse again. And she's slipped into depression. <sighs> and she's going to basically live forever because she can't- she doesn't need to eat or drink anything, so she's just gonna be like that forever, and it's sad. And, I don't know, I- maybe we can put her out of her misery somehow. Better than, you know, leaving her to transform into a horrible monstrous loris every full moon. <laughs> oh, man. Um. Hmm. Meat and fish is actually starting to run a little. Although other means that there's like you know, meals and things. Um. Yeah, it really, we're not gonna be getting any traders because um. You know, everybody's invading. <laughs> we got too many invaders showing up. So all of our traders are like... And, 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 you know, trading is nice, but also you get news when they show up. And like, we haven't had any news about the outside world in a while. Oh, that was suspended. <sighs> once we got that, we can hook up all those doors to the levers. And get these guys out of here. And this is telling- I'm gonna need to set more cage traps after this is over. Whoa. 
what's going on over here. I guess they're just killing emus out here. Yeah, I guess they're just chasing animals. Because they're bored. Who was that guy? <laughs> I guess he was like a visitor, but he can't get in. Um... But yeah, like, I want to know, like, news. Like, what's going on out there? Bunch of weird crap. No, oh, I guess the cat- I guess the trap's caught somebody else. Oh wait, they're fleeing! Yeah, because like up in the up in the upper left corner it would say that they're leaving. Or it would say that there's a siege if they were still here, but I guess they're fleeing finally. Our traps caught too many of them and they got scared and they ran. <sighs> okay, um Yep, we don't have any more invaders on the map, so let's Go ahead and open up the fort again. And we can send some dwarves out to grab those prisoners. Ooh, there's a lot of folks in the in the in here. Why isn't that why isn't that shrine built build that? A lot of folks in here. Because that's the non-denominational church. Who is that? This guy's spray- oh, it's a dancer. Okay, sometimes dancers will show up and they're naked, so I wanted to check if the dude was naked, but man, the, the sprite is just like, what? Just... Elves like to break dance, I guess. How's the library supplies doing? Okay, we got seven bits of writing material, six pieces of written works, yeah. So the dwarves are bringing in the guys, or they should be. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going out to haul in the prisoners. Oh, and just in time, um, the tortures of appointing. <laughs> Performance troop is visiting. <laughs> okay, so, you know, all the crazy stuff that happened in the last episode, I guess everything's winding down finally. Um, but yeah, okay, all of these bridges are done. Okay, let's assign them to this lever. It's gonna be a bit of a pain in the butt. Oh my god, because I gotta keep going down to this lever. Uh, I wonder if the uh, Steam version of Dwarf Fortress is gonna fix all this weirdness. Just make this- make stuff like this just a little less annoying. I'm actually pretty excited for that. I'm definitely gonna be playing it when it comes out. I'm not- I'm not really a purist. I'm not gonna be like, Ooh, this isn't Dwarf Fortress. Okay, we got all those done and we got some engineers doing that. Um, and hopefully by the time we get another invasion, um, then it will be complete. Walnut muff- Walnuts muffins. <laughs> ah, grammar. Um... Oh yeah, they're cleaning up vomit. <laughs> uh, and I want to choose make more cage traps. So let me do that too. This episode is probably gonna be mostly clean up stuff. 
and just preparing for the next invasion and um oh god more doors being destroyed stop it and i would it would be awesome if we could get that tower like if we could put up some walls around that trap door up top and get that tower start to be built that would be really cool That's plenty. Yeah, like, I've never... Oh, she's throwing a tantrum. Ah, oh, there she goes again! It's that time of the month! Ah, Hopper. What are we gonna do with you? A bunch of dogs in there. <laughs> <coughs> oh, what? Okay. Yeah, I know. I know she's a dwarf again. You didn't have to tell me. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get interrupted like that every, ta every time. That's gonna get annoying. Holy crap, we already have so many beds. Okay, I'm gonna have to tell somebody to stop making beds. We have a lot. Man, it, like, once you get, like, super high-level carpenters, that... They, it, they, just, they just make stuff, like, crazy. Oh, well, I ended up using them all. You know what we could also do? We could start making, um, uh, rooms for the tavern, because I, I saw a lot of folks sleeping in that shrine area, so maybe we could, maybe we could stand to be a little more hospitable to our visitors. <sighs> so I'm gonna open up the tower gate. And I'm gonna go up there. And start like an outline for the walls. If I can find it. Um. Well, the biggest problem because I wanted to make it a little more like a castle and not just like a like a really small tower just that only just covers like um, the stairway but that would mean having to clear cut all of this stuff like all the trees over here and that's fine it's just uh, gonna take like a, a bit um, Because I don't want to have to build it over top of these, like, these ponds. How's our well doing? How much water we got left down there? We got a lot of water left. Because if we were running out of water, we would probably have to start, like, pumping from underground. Okay, what's this petition? Um... This person wants to live here for entertaining citizens and visitors. That's fine. I know that some of them are probably spies, but like, come on. These dwarves are so, like, traumatized. <laughs> Man, we got a real crowd in here. We really should start trying to build some, 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 um, some bedrooms. That would be a lot of fun. Um, let me start carving some out. We could start putting them, like, down here. How's mood doing? Okay, uh, Durian's a little stressed. Nagust is also stressed, so is Uthalit. Oh, Hopper. <laughs> I'm wondering if, like, transforming resets their, their mood a little bit. Because she slips into depression, which means that she had gone insane, basically. Like, that's a, that's something that your dwarves never come back from when that happens. But, um... But, yeah, this isn't, um... These, these numbers wouldn't... 
I don't think they'd be like that if she were still in a depression. So... Yeah. I'm bad at explaining this, but... Yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe the Were Beast curse, uh, you know, w once you transform, it resets you physically and mentally. <laughs> ah. I mean, I guess that makes sense. You become a monster that, like, gets to take out their rage on things. That wouldn't be so bad. Elf. That's weird. Like, you usually if... Oh yeah, that we we did have that goblin metalsmith. So I guess if they're not like, because usually you get nobles who ask to stay. So like, all these poets and dancers and things. But then you get just elf, just a an elf peasant. <laughs> I wonder where that person came from. And um, I might start putting. Some, uh, some military together as well. That's also something I wanted to do. I'm just trying to think of who to put in it. It'd be funny if we could put some of these nobles in there, but... Yeah, especially this elf peasant. Make yourself a useful elf. Uh, I want an army at some point, but... Our population's just not... Well, I mean, it's not that bad, but a lot of it's just, like... Because we got a lot of nobles, and we got, um... You know... People that I don't really want to put in an army, because they're doing things. You know, yeah, we don't have a lot of idlers. Oh my god, stop destroying doors. Is there anything I can do about this person? Okay, more building destruction charges. Yes. Uh, which one was it? Book Cag. Yes. Well, I can't find them. I don't know if they're still here. They might have left. They did leave, but what's this other? Omo! Yes, that person. Yeah, go punish them. Yeah, that person's still here, but at least the other at least the other guy's gone. These people these like war these uh these necromancer experiment people are just so obnoxious. Oh, we have a lady consort meditating on depravity. <laughs> oh. What's her, uh... I wonder what her deal is. She decided to live here. Oh, she's a goblin! <laughs> What an interesting bunch of folks we got around here. Yeah, uh, now that all these trees are cut, I think I'm going to start making an outline for the tower that I want. So, let's start building some walls. Okay, well, we got a lot of granite. We, we only have 51 granite blocks. That's a little sucky. So we can't actually build that many. Because <sighs> I was working on granite blocks. We can at least start this process. I 
Uh, if any invaders come, we can tell everyone to get the hell inside and close up. So that's all we can really build, because we don't have a whole lot of granite blocks yet. But hey, it's a start. I just I really want to build this thing. <laughs> that was something I wanted to do from day one, okay? This is my goal. I don't know if that's gonna be like the end where I decide to end the fort, but we'll figure out a good ending place. Yeah, it's like... Cookie's the only baby that's been born here? We haven't had any, like... None of our actual residents have ever given birth to any babies. It's, uh... I don't know. It's kind of weird. Because usually my dwarves are always giving birth, but... I guess not in this fort. Let's butcher that stupid badger. Let's get rid of him, finally. find it. Okay, yeah. Alright, I think I'm probably gonna end it here. Oh! Yeah, one more- one more Blair Loris transformation. We know, honey. We know. We know that you're angry and you're a horrible monster of the night. for today. I know it's probably a short episode with not a lot of excitement, but you need- with this game, you need some quiet moments before everything goes to crap again. And, oh yeah, we have a bunch of prisoners we haven't dealt with yet. We'll do that next time. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time in the Fortress of Crowd Kitchens. See ya!